So today's Monday, right? We all know what that means. That is tutorial in a hurry day. So, yeah, today's Monday, right? Yeah. <laughs> so today we'll be talking a little bit about shortcuts within Premiere to save you a lot of time and patience. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So first things first, we're going to go to Premiere Pro. In my case, I'm using CC. You're going to go ahead and click on uh, keyboard shortcuts. So right now I'll be tackling six shortcuts, which are the, the ones I use the most. So we're going to start by typing zoom. So we're going to begin with zoom in. So you're just going to have this empty slot. So you're going to click on it and then you're going to press the letter A. And there you go, as simple as that. Zoom out, click on it. Again, you're going to have this empty slot and you're going to go ahead and click S. Cool. All right, so the third shortcut I want to show you guys is something that's very useful as well and that's going to be ripple delete. And you have to be you have to be a little bit careful here because as you can see we've got two and this is for an application but the one we are looking for is this one right here which is the timeline. So we're going to click right here and again you're going to uh, click here and press the letter D. Now to go to our next shortcut, we're going to go ahead and write nest. And this one, I'm, again, I'm going to explain it literally in a second. We're going to click here and you already know the procedure. Here we're going to use the letter G. So we already used A, S, D, F and G. Now that we've got this ones, let's go to hit OK. And like I said, I was going to cover six of them and the last two are actually by default, the letter C, I get this one, which is cut. So as you can see, I can just chop everything. And of course the letter V to go back to our selection tool. And those my friends are the six most useful shortcuts that I use while working with Premiere. Now, like I said earlier, I'm going to show you exactly what ripple delete and nest are. So let's start with ripple delete. All right, so let's say for example, this is our video, right? And you just don't like this entire clip. So without ripple delete, you will need to click on the clip and hit delete. And then you will need to bring this all the way here. But now with ripple delete, all we have to do is click the letter D and as you can see, the entire clip has been deleted plus the next clip has been brought right into the next one. All right, how about nest then? I already made a more detailed video about nesting and its functions, so all you have to do if you want to learn more about that, all you have to do is click on the I button, which you're going to find literally showing up. But just to summarize, let me show you exactly how it works. This video has been changed size and also has been changed speed. So once you've done this within Adobe Premiere and on top of that, you would like to warp your clip, you can't. That's why all you have to do is select it and then click G. So once our clip is nested, we're going to be able to stabilize it or just add any other effect into it. All right, guys, so there you have it. That's something that has helped me quite a lot to save some time when I'm editing my videos. And I really hope that helps you as well. So if you like this video, always make sure you click that like button and subscribe if you haven't, because there's a lot of really cool content coming your way. And by the way, happy Halloween tomorrow. Enjoy it, go crazy, responsibly, and this is Jeff, and I'll catch you on the next video.